So real quick, um, under the Data Manager tab, let's just finish this off real quick and explain all of these options over here. Uh, basically your orbit, so you can spin the drawing in 3D. Okay, uh, Your zoom extents to go see the, everything that's out there. Um, pan, I guess you can pan the drawing like that if you need to. And then you have your zoomed window. You can zoom in and zoom in on a window. Uh, then you can go back to top-down view, side view. Okay, and then I guess there's more options if you want to play around with those. Um, now, over here is your layer tab to turn on and off layers. Turn them all off, turn them all on, or just select some. This is nice to use if you're trying to like only pinpoint, for instance, sleeves or blocks, certain blocks that you need to just put points over very quickly in multi-mode or something. It's a good option. Uh, let me turn them all on again, though. I'll go through this again more in detail later. You have your properties. You can select an object, figure out what layer they're on, and uh, look at that. You can also figure out uh, coordinates of points. If you select a point, uh, turn your grid on and off, turn your zero zero on and off. I've never used this, but uh, you could filter certain points in and out, I guess. Uh, and then regenerate. This is good if you have a, if you zoom in really far in and the CAD looks weird. You can just quickly refresh it real quick. And then here you can delete entities. So I can say I want to delete this point. Delete. Enter. And then here is your CAD clean. If you ever had a CAD file and you're like, man, why can I hit certain lines? Most likely it's because they're a, a polyline. So you could explode polylines like this. Explode blocks uh, sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. Sometimes it'll crash. But if it's a simple drawing, you can explode blocks. And then I also like to remove hatch, which is like decorative elements, uh, proxies that are elements I can't select anyway. And then, yeah, those are the kind of elements. Yeah, so just play around with this as you like. But this is just a nice option for you. Mainly what you're going to use this for is to explode pile lines and maybe try to explode blocks. If it doesn't work, maybe try to do it in AutoCAD. Um, but yeah, definitely try to delete your hatch because you don't need those at all. So I hope that uh, that will uh, help you understand that up there and I'll do another information thing on how to use this layer tab because there's a little more detail to it.